Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tim and this is the Tim O Show. And today we're gonna do a recap on a solar panel cleaning job that we just did a couple of days ago. And it was a $350 dirty clean. Um, because it was a new customer, we like to call the new customers dirty clean because those panels take a little bit longer to get clean. So we landed this customer using uh, the Facebook ad strategy. And if you'd like to see exactly how I set up and run my Facebook ads to get jobs just like this one, check out that first link in the comment section and the description. That'll take you to the Solar Panel Cleaning Academy where you guys will learn my proven Facebook strategy that gets jobs just like this, how to properly clean solar panels, the exact equipment and techniques needed for beginners and professionals, and I'll also include my pricing guide and script for new leads. And for a short time, we're gonna be offering $100 off right now when you use the promo code solar one so be sure to take advantage of this deal by checking out those top links in the description and the pinned comment now let's get into the video so this job well, we landed with facebook ad strategy i think I, I already mentioned that but um it was actually a retired firefighter and i thought that was crazy that he hired us to go on the roof because you would think that like a firefighter would go up on his own roof and kind of handle this situation now it is a two-story um, he just said, you know, I'm retired. I don't go on ladders anymore. And that was fine with me. I'd be glad to go there and, and clean his panels. This job was actually a dirty clean. So we had to charge a little bit more. Um, and even though the house has a soft water system on it, it was, uh, we still hooked up our purification system. And these dirty cleans, they require a lot more water on them because you typically have to rinse them twice. Like you do a, a pre-rinse and then you'll do a clean them, you do a final rinse, and then you almost kind of got to do them again. It's like a two two step process on these dirty cleans. So anytime you got to use more water, you're actually using up your resin a little bit more, which means, you know, that's your that's your number one major expense is the resin when you're running this business. So if you got to use a lot of water, you're going to have to charge accordingly. And these dirty cleans, they totally require much more water than normal. So on the dirty cleans too, um, sometimes they'll get a little bit of sticker shock in the very beginning. Like I said, this was a $350 uh, dirty clean. Now you could offer if they go ahead and schedule you for, um, if you do like a six month cleaning, say hey, we'll come back in six months, you can offer them like a little bit of a price break. Sometimes we'll do that on the really, really dirty ones because sometimes the price is a little higher, but you can knock it down like 50 bucks or maybe even a hundred bucks. Just depends on what you guys want to do. Um, I very rarely do this anymore because a lot of my customers are already reoccurring and this is something I started doing um, later and a lot of my reoccurring customers came from early on in the business. So these panels are super dirty and uh, I think another couple factors to why they were so dirty. Number one is it's really close to a major freeway and anytime a house or the panels are near a freeway they're going to get a little dustier than panels that are more in you know, inland away from major traffic areas because of the smog and the tires kick up dust and a lot of different things. Number two, the second factor is this orchard to the right of the screen. Now, this is an almond orchard. And at the time of this video, it was near harvest. So there's a lot of dust floating around in the air. And anytime they uh, spray pesticides and they spray different types of things on top of, you know, the orchards and stuff, that stuff floats around the air. And essentially it's gotta land somewhere and sometimes it lands on the panels. And what we've noticed on the panels that are near orchards is the pesticides will stick and it almost acts like a glue like catching everything so any dust now seems to want to stick to these panels even more because it almost has like a layer of residue from some f some form of chemical that they use out there whether it's like a fertilizer or like a pesticide i'm not sure but i've noticed that that's kind of how they do and another thing we've noticed about the panels is th th if they're not clean the dirt like stacks up from the bottom up the top now uh, we'll talk about that in a different video so now this is one of those newer developments and every single house that's in this development actually has solar panels on it and each house has at least 10 but on average like 15 to 20 and that's something that i can get behind and i can really get used to it and i, I just learned that california actually passed a bill recently stating that all new residential and commercial buildings are required to have panels installed so that's going to be great for business and that's also great for me because i planned on scaling this business up this year and i still paint houses too but this business is is easily scalable and i actually enjoy the work more than the painting like it's super gratifying even though painting is also pretty gratifying um this work is more fun it's me and my buddy a childhood friend from high school we hop in the truck every day we get to cruise around and i like the fact that you're doing jobs they take about a half an hour to an hour a piece to do 
and you get paid as soon as you're done. And and also we get tipped a lot. That's something I've never really encountered that much being in the service industry. Occasionally we get a tip at the end of a job, a long paint job. Most paint jobs last a week, two weeks, you know, but like these solar panel jobs are quick. Boom, boom, boom. You knock out seven, eight, nine a day. Easily do eight of these jobs a day, like without even trying. Especially if you get into a neighborhood like this where every single house has panels on it. You could knock out eight, nine, maybe even 10 jobs in a day. And those are the days that you want in the solar panel business. So again, if you guys are interested in how I get jobs, just like this one here, using Facebook, check out the top link in the description and the pinned comment below. And I'll take you to the cleaning academy where you guys will learn everything. Everything that I know and everything that I use, all the tools, techniques, and strategies is yours for the taking. And you guys could be making money doing this too. So if you're interested, take a look. If not, it's cool. I appreciate you guys sticking around watching the video anyways. And until next time, remember, anything's possible.